Hi, my name is Aaron Stern. I'm the pastor of Mill City Church in Fort Collins, and I'm so honored to be able to share just a little bit with you about how we are navigating some of these uh, days, certainly a huge, unprecedented moment in history. And in all of it, there's so much uncertainty, and there are so many questions, and there are so many unknowns that what ends up happening is it, it increases the anxiety level. Uh, it's almost like the RPMs in our culture have, have gone up because of the questions of what, what, what's going on and what does this look like and how does this end and what about my health or what about the health of a loved one or what about finances or the financial future or maybe you own a business, whatever. Uh, there's so many questions and, and, and really the question then is what do we do? How do we navigate these times? And, and maybe the, the the answer that or the question that a lot of people are asking is how do, how do I how do I stop feeling this way? How do I stop feeling so uncertain or so sad or so powerless? And if that's the only question that we ask, then then we will quickly go to self medication and we'll go to trying to escape or numb or distract ourselves. And and that might look like a Netflix binge. That might look like drugs or alcohol. Or that might look like uh, just immersing yourself online. Uh, but there is another way. Uh, the scripture, the Bible, uh, gives us some direction for this. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, it says that perfect love casts out fear. And, and it's not certainty. It's not knowing exactly how things are going to work out. Uh, it's not positivity. But in fact, perfect love that removes and displaces fear. And it doesn't mean the circumstances are fixed or anything like that, but in fact that we have grounded ourselves in the love of God. The perfect love is perfectly expressed in the life of Jesus and in the love of God uh, expressed to his world. And so, so we want to ground ourselves in that reality. One of the practices that we've encouraged our congregation in is, is to, to spend some time uh, in sitting in on a regular basis, maybe every morning, Psalm 23, to come around the famous passage that says, the Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. Uh, that he leads us, he guides us, even in the darkest valley, or the valley of the shadow of death, we don't have to fear. Why? Because he's with us. And so, uh, so we want to ground ourselves in that reality, the reality of God with us, and him being a loving caring, good father. And we also want to, in a moment of isolation, uh, be people who reach out, that even though we are practicing uh, social distancing, we want to also practice relational engagement, to lean into the people around us, to find people who are going to support us and encourage us to carry one another's burdens and to express love to one another. And when we find ourselves grounded in perfect love, it connects us to a, an unending source, which then we are not to hoard, but in fact, give away. So in this, in this moment of, of crisis, or in any moment of crisis, our natural tendency is, is self-preservation. But the instructions of Scripture, the instruction of Jesus, is to love your neighbor. And so we want to be people who reach out. And so maybe, the, maybe that looks like reaching out to the person who lives, lives next to you or the person around the corner. Or maybe it looks like reaching out to someone you know or love and offering care, offering help, maybe if, uh, if that means going to the grocery store or whatever. And together as a congregation, we also are extending our resources and our efforts uh, to Lincoln Middle School. Lincoln Middle School is a, a school that we adopted several years ago as a church and wanting to help and serve the teachers, the, the students, the families in any way that we, we can. And that's looked like uh, redoing and helping uh, beautify courtyards and landscaping, uh, resourcing teachers, providing for families at holiday seasons, things like that. But in this moment, uh, we are providing meals uh, for 165 families in this crisis as long as is needed. And uh, we're so honored and 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 so grateful that we have the opportunity to reach out and love uh, community, uh, people in our community. We love our city so much. At the end of the day, the goal is that uh, no matter how long or what this storm might look like for us individually or as, um, as, as, as people, as a community, as a city, and as a world, as humanity, that even if the storm is raging on the outside, that we can say like the, the beautiful hymn says, it is well, 
with my soul. That, that the storm might be, might be swirling all around us, but inside I can say, I am at peace.